All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a uh, or set up a uh, Husky air compressor. I got this for Christmas, so uh, maybe I'll be able to make more videos around the house or at the house because uh, I still don't have air and I have a lot of air tools or a good amount. So it's good that I have this now. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to hook this up. Right now, I pretty much just have it have the box open. That's about all I've done. Uh, Open it. The first thing you want to do is you know, grab your hardware, set that aside, uh, grab your manual because you'll probably need that, and uh, grab the handle. Take that out also. If you care about it getting scratched, set it somewhere that's not concrete, and uh, pull out the top. Set your air hose that it comes with. If yours comes with an air hose, set that aside too. And uh, as you can see, this is pretty much what's all well, except for this little tool set. What's left is essentially just uh, the compressor. So I'm gonna grab it by this handle or this hole here and the handle back here and go ahead and pull it out of the box. Now, as you can see, it's out of the box. Uh, next thing you'll notice whenever you pull it out is that you'll have two wheels in here. That was probably a terrible noise. Uh, you'll have two wheels here to uh, put on it and roll it around so easier to move from place to place. Short distances, that is. You don't really want to drag it around, but you can see kind of how it's going to be set up there. Now, as you can see, I have two wheels sitting there. I have the hardware to the wheels and also the, uh, the little lock wing nuts for the uh, handle over there and this here is the air filter now before you put this on you can see it's supplied with some uh, thread tape you want to uh, wrap these threads uh, I, I usually do about two wraps and uh, go ahead and thread the uh, air filter on there you don't want to crank it down super tight because this is uh, this might actually be aluminum but you just don't want to crank down too much and pull the threads out of either the top of the engine or uh, strip threads off of that. Now for this particular model, the wrenches you're going to need are, at least just for general assembly, you need a 13 16th and that's going to go on the air filter. You're going to need a 5 8 and that's going to go on this nut for the uh, axle for the wheels to go on to. And for the outside of the axle, it's going to be 11 16 and that's uh, what you're going to need to just put the uh, compressor together. Now, whenever you are uh, putting thread tape on this, you have to remember that this is going to be turned on there clockwise to tighten it down. So when you put the thread tape on there, you want to have it and you want to go around the threads counterclockwise so that whenever you put it on there, it just doesn't start rubbing the uh, like unraveling the tape on there. You want it to be snug on there with it. So you want to go against the way that you're turning and it'll keep everything in place. As you can see on this air filter, I have it around a few wraps. And again, I went this way, not clockwise. I went counterclockwise when looking this direction to wrap this on here so it'll stay on there where it is right now and help uh, keep it sealed. So I have my 13 16 over here and this is as you can see, the uh, top of the engine. Just gonna grab this and start it by hand. There it is. Yeah, I think that's probably what's gonna happen. I think I'm just gonna hand tighten it because even with how tight it is now, you can't really get a wrench in between that space to tighten that. So I'm just gonna tighten it down. And there we go, we got our air filter So on as you there. can see, this is the hole where the axle goes in at. I'm going to put the uh, the bolt, the shouldered bolt, with the washer on like that. And then, on the other side, I'm going to put the lock washer and the nut on. But for, before you try to put this on though, you want to have your wheel on the axle because there's no other way to get the wheel on there. If this was a bolt on the back side here, you'd be able to get it off. Or if this was a nut, you'd be able to get this off. But this is a, a whole bolt. 
So it needs to actually be on there before you thread the nut on the back of it. And this is where you're going to get your 5 8 wrench on the back side of here. This is where you're going to get your 5 8 wrench on. Just get it on there just like that so it holds the nut. And then take your 11 16 and get it on here. It actually helps you have a ratcheting one. You don't want to have it going that way. You want to have it like that. And you can see it's starting to tighten up back there. And then uh, once it hits the top of this bracket up here, that is whenever it is actually tightening because the nut will stop spinning on the back side. So right there, it's probably tight. Next, you just want to take your handle and put it in here. Mine had to be kind of uh, squeezed because it wanted to spread further than uh, these brackets were. So you might have to do that and then just thread these into here. Now, what I usually do is I'll back the uh, compressor, the uh, air regulator, pressure regulator, all the way off counterclockwise. And uh, then I'll hook it up and we will uh, get it pumped up and then set our pressure where we want it to be at. Now, if this were another brand of compressor, another style of compressor, I'm sure other Husky ones that require oil, this particular compressor does not require oil. So if you had one that required oil, you would have to just, um, you'd have to add oil before you start it up. But since we don't, we can just... Now, as you can see, I'm assuming it's this that's pressured up right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set mine to about 50 PSI because I'm not working on anything that really needs a lot of pressure. Um, mostly for a good portion, except if I'm working on something, this is just going to be mainly used to fill up tires and stuff. So I'm just going to turn this knob and it may kick on. Turn this to 50 PSI to slowly turn it. And now we got it at 50. So. That's how mine's gonna stay set, and uh, yeah. The next thing I just have to do is just put an air hose on here and use it. So uh, that's about it for hooking up an air compressor, a uh, new one. Uh, I hope this helped you out. If it didn't, just ask some questions and I'll try my best to help you out. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time.